Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 130. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, here we go. We're already on to episode four of this stream. Oh yeah, Black Panther's uploaded another Need for Speed Unbound video. Let's fucking go. I so want to get Unbound, but I just don't have the money. So I'm just going to wait for it to go on sale, like around Christmas time, and maybe get it then. It'll go on sale within a month. Guaranteed. Like, EA put games on sale so quick now. Like, I will... I, oh, God, that was a hiccup. How is it five minutes? Gonna get a drink sent at 2017. 17 minutes past eight. And then you came back at 29 minutes past eight. That... Unless I failed maths, which I didn't, I passed with two papers as I explained in the last stream. Equals 12 minutes. Oh, yeah. So it still took you 12 minutes to get back to chat. So, point proven. <laughs> You know enough to know the way. Mm -hmm. Hey, nice one. FM3! You wanna be the one who's alive You wanna be the one who's alive I don't know Yeah, I, I really don't see Need for Speed Unbound being at full price Not just EA Play discount, but like Because obviously there's an EA Play discount at all times but, like, I don't see it being at its standard price for more than, like, I don't know. By January, like, mid-January, I can guarantee you Need for Speed Unbound will have had at least one sale. And if it hasn't, I'll be very surprised. But I've honestly I've been thoroughly enjoying Need for Speed Unbound. I don't know why. Because everything points to it being a worse game than Need for Speed Heat. And any Need for Speed ever, but it's just so good. I don't know why. I really can't say. It's one of those games that really baffles me. Like, this game is supposed to be terrible, but I really like it, kind of vibe. It's like Fortnite. Maybe not for me, but like, for some people. They just love the game, even though it's a terrible game. It is a terrible game. Do 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 It's okay when I do the 10 hour trial but I'm not buying it. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, uh, I'll be buying it on Steam. 
I really do want EA though to fix the um, EA launcher. I think I might reinstall um, Need for Speed um, Most Wanted 2012 because it's the smallest game I have that's owned by EA and that uses the launchers. I want to see if the launch has fixed itself on Steam Deck yet. Payback, I think, is my favourite Need for Speed out of all of the Ghost Games ones. A lot of people hate it, though. Like, I think the only reason why Need for Speed has gone downhill is because people keep bitching about the game and saying that it's terrible. Like, I'll be totally honest, I think the only reason why Need for Speed has just gone downhill is because people keep saying, it's a bad game. And the fact is, if anyone out there says Need for Speed Unbound is terrible, but then proceeds to say Need for Speed Most Wanted 05 is your favourite Need for Speed, you're an idiot and you need to, like, just... Death should come soon. <laughs> like, honestly... It could be one of the most stupidest things that people can say. Like, oh, I really like Need for Speed Most Wanted 05. Ugh, I hate Unbound. They're literally made from pretty much a copy-paste formula. Like, there is no way you can hate Unbound but love Most Wanted 05. No way. Physically impossible. And if it is, then you're just mentally ill. There's no other way of describing it. You're just mentally ill. Like the form formula like I don't know. The formula of the game is just copy and paste. Payback on the other hand, payback is its own story. Like, I don't think they did a Need for Speed game that's similar to that storyline. It's a really good story. And I just hope that they can go back to making storylines like that. Like, give us some freedom. Give us some tasks to do. Make a story. Because Payback's story was phenomenal. I loved it. What do you mean by that? What parts copy and pasted? It? Uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted is the PS2 version, but it's also oh shit! It was also on PS3 and 360 and Xbox Original, so it was on all of them really. And PC. I have a PC copy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, PSP one's irrelevant. But... They exist, but they're not the same game. Kodo, you're, you're a bit slow on that one, mate. <laughs> they did a Java phone version? Oh my god, it's been ages since I've heard Java phone. I remember as a kid, like, I, I was like four or five there was this rally game on the Nokia it was like a color Nokia thing Ladera test track's not that bad it's a lot better than the test track that was in um oh god uh motorsport two and three uh two and one sorry It's not good when you've got faster cars, I will admit. Uh, 
I'd say Iberian International Raceway. Or International Circuit, whatever it's called. The um, other one, not the like L-shaped one. That track is a lot worse than Ladera. My watch is telling me to move. Probably go walk downstairs after this. Not yet. I haven't eaten yet, no. Bonk. The poor simp boss. What a wallop. Oh my god. 15 minutes. Coolio, I'll get one more race done and then I'll go downstairs. Woohoo! Let's get this race loaded up quickly then. You make me wanna. You make me wanna. I need to tell Alex to start messaging me more on WhatsApp because I read my WhatsApp messages more than Discord at the moment. Discord I'm nowhere near as active on. Not as much as I'd like to be anyways. Oh, I'm going up. You're inside. That's what she said. Oh, you tit. I want my position back. Get back here, you prick. Bastardo. Uh, yeah, I'll give you it on, um... After the stream, then. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is the one with the corners, you bastard. Yeah, I mean, when it comes to, like, calling, it's probably still better to go on Discord. Can you call on WhatsApp desktop? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I can't check it out. Oh, fuck. There's a corner coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 
But yeah, if, if I can call, like, on PC, then that'd be fine. But if not, I'd still probably end up doing, like, Discord calls. I just don't really use uh, Discord. Like, I'm always on Discord, but I'm I'm never replying to my direct messages as much. Like, I typically just look at my servers and then forget about direct messages, so... And my notifications don't really pay attention to. So, at least if it's on WhatsApp, I'll be a little more active messaging people. Like, people I actually want to message, if that makes sense. Like, that I want to have a direct conversation with. Because most of the time you just get like bots or random people just message you on Discord. It's like, hey, what's up? Who the fuck are you? I don't know who you are. I don't want to mo- You know. <laughs> hey, don't make me regret it. I'll put, I'll put you back on the Discord list. <laughs> I'll be like, no, he's got to message me on Discord. By the way, I will be naming you as Fishman. I don't care what you say. <laughs> Someday. Say goodbye, tragedy. I just love the pain of life. Ah, all right, that's fine then. As long as I can do it on desktop, that's all that matters. Might not be able to screen share though, so we might still have to use Discord for screen share. Attack, what up? How are you doing, man? I am doing good, thank you very much for asking. Legend. How you been? It's Tic Tac, oh my god. Why? Why? That's gonna become a nickname. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fair enough. Good to hear. Good to hear that you're doing good. <laughs> uh. Yeah, all I can think about is that Afghan Dan song. That Tic Tac better get back in his box. If not, Mr. Tic Tac get 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 back in his box. Mix Tic Tac better get back in his box. <laughs> That's all I can think of. You know at the the peak of like the Will and E drama. That was fucking sick. He is the taco man.
Luxie Turner. I'm really liking this Metallica song. I'm just the taco. Oh, you're not even the, you're not even the taco man. You're just taco. <laughs> Do not eat the taco. <laughs> Do you know what? I have had one, like, fast food taco from Taco Bell. I have had tacos once. It's a bit overrated, I'll be honest. I've had so many people tell me, oh, you've got to have Taco Bell, you've got to have Taco Bell. Like, expect it to be, like, some fucking amazing meal. Eh, it's okay. Nothing special. But. Luxie Turner. <laughs> You've never had a taco either. They're getting a lot of, um, taco bells in the UK now. I don't know if there's one in Cardiff yet, but... It probably is. Cardiff's quite a big place. Middle, 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 middle. Surprisingly not. I think they're a lot better over in the UK than they are in America. Which also has me concerned. Like, how do Americans eat that and think, Oh my god, this is good. I'm still live like I'm still annoyed at my McDonald's order the other day. Fucking livid. I wanted pickles in my burgers, McDonald's. I'm just craving like McDonald's pickles. McDonald's or Domino's pickles. Like highly tempted to just order a Domino's and just say, Can I just have some pickles, please? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Americans are a bit strange. Honestly, I don't know if you anyone's ever had the cheeseburger pizza from Domino's, but the cheeseburger pizza is so good. You say no, but the pickles on the pizza, like when you have a Domino's cheeseburger pizza, it tastes like a cheeseburger, and the pickles are just so good. Oh, you don't pickle the entire pizza. You just put pickles on the pizza. But I fucking love it. Like, it's awesome. But the thing is, right, I don't know what it is that makes Domino's pickles and McDonald's pickles the way they are. But they're the only two places I have found that sell pickles that are like that, that I like I will literally take the pickles off the pizza and eat them whole. Like, those are the kind of pickles I love, and I absolutely love the flavor of them. Don't know why, I have no clue what it is. I want it. But every other place that sells pickles, they are not the same. They do not taste the same. They don't have the same flavor, and I have no clue why. I know I'm strange. I just love pickles. That's one of the one things that I just fucking love. But I, I understand why pickles are like a acquired taste. Because they're pickles. It's like pickled eggs and pickled onions. Certain people love them, certain people fucking hate them. You know. And I realize pickled and taco don't go together. Hmm. Are you sure about that? I can make anything go well with pickles. Let's be honest. Any, like, pickles for me, I fucking love them. But let's be honest. Tack, Kodo, everyone has, like, their weird food that they absolutely love. All right, here we go. Oh, I need to change the scenes quick. There we go. We are officially 120 hours in. Oh, fucking hell. 
I'm very much full. I enjoyed that. Loaded potato skin with mozzarella dippers and um, chicken strips. I don't know why, but home cooked stuff, when it's cooked right, it just tastes so much better. Greedy boy. What do you mean, greedy? Why, are you some boring household that has, like, one thing on their plate? Yep, today we're serving up carrots. That's all you're having. Yep, today is chip day. You get chips today. So how am I greedy the fact that I've had three items? Kodo, I don't think you understand what the term greedy means. Greedy bastard. Yeah, what do you mean no, Kodo? You're so incorrect. Oh, sorry, I can't use the phrase incorrect now. The snowflakes are upset. I have to use the term not right. I can guarantee you that's where the internet's going to go to. We'll get to a point where we're not even allowed to use the term incorrect because it's upsetting. You're always wrong, though. <laughs> you think incorrectly. Just realised I said nice cat when I was trying to say nice car. <laughs> I was a bit confused. Why are we talking about cats? Bollocks. I was trying to accelerate hours. No control. Let's try and rewind this all the way back to before I went off the track. That way I can actually continue driving. There we go. Much better. By the way, for anyone who might be watching that's new, aiming this towards you ASWD but also if anyone's watching in the background that's new hasn't seen this um, this is the Forza Mega series this is where I play through every single Forza game I'm gonna be trying to 100% every Forza game um, I have well I've got 120 episodes up on YouTube of Motorsport 3, um, but only 108 of them are public at the moment. There's still a couple more waiting to go up. Um, but yeah, I've got over 100 videos of this on YouTube, which is awesome. It's been a grind. Really enjoying it. 
Um, and I've completed Motorsport 1 and 2. So if you guys are wanting to see my playthrough of Motorsport 1 and 2, type an exclamation mark YT in the chat. You'll get my YouTube link. And the Mega Series is literally on the front page. And uh, as soon as we're finished with Motorsport 3, we'll be moving on to Motorsport 4. Falls on Motorsport 3 and 4 I grew up with. I grew up with Motorsport 3 and 4 as well. And GT5. Those are the games I properly grew up with. I very much enjoyed it. I mean, to be fair, you don't really need to connect to Xbox Live for a lot of 360 games. They still work very well on their own. It's sort of become a really modern thing. Like last generation and this generation the um, consoles have sort of needed to be connected to the internet for you to be able to play them which sucks I, I really do like the time when you could actually just play games just have fun But yeah, Motorsport 3 is a massive, massive game for me, personally. I grew up with this as a child, played this metric fuck ton. Um, and yeah, here we are now. I never 100 percent it though, never completed all the event lists. So I'm very happy to be doing it now and actually trying to complete every event in the event list. Ah, oh, gosh. I've got to go through and um, do a fake run of Motorsport 4 soon. Because I need to work out what my starting structure is going to be for Motorsport 4. Motorsport 4 is going to be very difficult because there's a lot of, like, manufacturer races at the start. So I think I'm going to have to start with the middle section first. Not 100% sure yet, though. Not bad. Looking good. Yeah, this is going to be our last race for today. I love this Aston Martin. It's crazy fast. Believe in love like I do. Wanna be alone. Oh, I know. Wanna be alone. Do you believe in love like I do? Wanna be alone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, the next, um... Next Forza stream is gonna be on Friday. So, um... In exactly 44 and a bit hours, we'll be live playing Forza again and then this weekend I think I'm gonna do a couple of streams because um, we're obviously back into our sort of pattern my flu's disappeared so um, I'm pretty much better so I can get back into my schedule so on Saturday I'll probably chill do some I don't know what I'm going to do Saturday, actually. Saturday I might do some Euro Truck, and then on Sunday I might do some WRC Generations. Do some rallying, get the gloves out. Do you believe in love like I do? Wanna be alone? Mm -mm 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 -mm.
do 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 burn a matter man a man burn a man I'm under steering not good there we go got to meet the honey with the million dollar body she says you want the budget but you pay her just to touch it come on hey hey Needs to hit the big screen and shoot a little love scene. Come on. Yeah. Up the dance floor, honey. You shake the ass around for everyone. I love the way you dance with everybody. That 100% can be taken in such a wrong way. I don't even know what the actual meaning of that is, but it, it probably is what? The bad version. How do YouTube have over 2k followers? I'm not even... Do you mean a thousand? Because, um... Basically, my Twitch hasn't been... It's kind of... Kind of a long story, but not a long story. If it... Basically, started out on YouTube. I did quite a bit on YouTube. Hey, appreciate it. ASWD. Appreciate it, man. Um... I did quite a bit on YouTube. Basically, I started out on Twitch. Um, then dabbled with YouTube while doing Twitch back in 2017. And then in 2018, I kind of just quit Twitch and just went straight for YouTube. Because Twitch streaming felt like a hassle. I don't know why, because it's so much less of a hassle than YouTube. End of discussion. Don't come at me. Twitch is so much easier to do than YouTube and... End of discussion. Uh, did YouTube for two years. Then came back to Twitch full time. Two years. Didn't do much on YouTube. Just had some like left... I had about 100 leftover videos that I hadn't uploaded. So that sort of did me for those two years. So that I could upload once a week. Uh, and obviously that got me to about... Something... I don't remember the exact numbers, but I got a lot more on YouTube during the time I was doing YouTube um, than I have on Twitch, and now I'm doing both at the same time. So I basically record YouTube videos, stream them on Twitch like I am now, uh, and then I'll do a couple of Twitch streams where I'm just chilling, having fun. So, But most of my streams at the moment are just falls of stuff. But yeah, that's our final race, but we've got to get our thumbnails now, which is going to take another 10-15 minutes. Woohoo! Nice. I need to get that back up to over a million credits. <laughs> oh, I got hiccups now. It's terrible. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>